All right, I have a question for you today, listeners. Who are you when you're not something to someone else? Gosh, that question stopped me in my tracks recently. I was catching up with a, a, an old colleague, Jody Zahn, someone I worked with many years ago. And we were talking about just where we are, these phases in our lives. And she said to me, I am figuring it out. And the question I'm asking myself is, who am I when I'm not something to someone else? So I've been reflecting on that a lot. And we, we talked about it and unpacked it a bit. We find ourselves as our kids get older and aren't needing us as much as our roles in our organizations shift. When we are just who we are in the world, how do we show up? You know, what is that core that isn't dependent upon another relationship? Darn, it's good. As I've been reflecting on it, I go to my values and I'm so glad that I have a set of values that anchor me. I talk about my values a lot. I do through the leadership challenge work that I'm engaged in. I do a lot of values clarification with leaders. And whenever I do the work, I often will do it myself just as a way to recommit and re-clarify, reaffirm. And my values are positivity, service, integrity, and connection. And when I am not something to someone else, I am positivity service, integrity, and connection. That isn't dependent upon place or person or circumstance. That's just who I am. And I'm so grateful for that. Now, are there times when I fall down and times when I don't live by my values because I get fearful or I get egotistical? Of course. But I can always come back. And I can always filter things through those values. So who are you when you're not something to someone else? What a great question and good thing to reflect on, right? To really think about wherever you go, there you are. So what, what is that? How are you showing up in the world? It's a great question with which to take care of yourself and ultimately each other. <laughs> 